Yes, in Jesus Christ, in today's gospel, Jesus is healing the blind man. Uh, blindness was and is still uh, one of the great curses in the East, curses of the East. So, it was very common to see a person with uh, matter encrusted eyes on which the flies persistently settled and that will lead, lead, the, lead to a greater infection uh, and finally caused blindness. So it was common in those times and also now and here in today's gospel and Jesus was uh, very considered a uh, very very much uh, having concern for the blind person because he was he had a considerate, considerateness to take him out of the crowd and out of the village so that he would he would be alone with him so looking at this blind man, he was a blind man and apparently he had been born blind. So if he had given his sight back immediately or suddenly amidst a crowd, then what would have happened then uh, upon seeing the crowd with his newly seeing eyes, then he would have been uh, bewildered, feared and uh, be thrilled about looking at the people. So Jesus knew that it could have been far better if he had been taken to a place uh, from where he could slowly, gradually give him the sight or heal him. So that's what Jesus was doing. And then this is one of the miracles which, which is very unique because it can be said to be to have happened gradually because whenever Jesus was performing the miracles that miracle had happened suddenly immediately and completely only this miracle in this miracle the blind man receives the sight black back in stages slowly first he sp spittles on his uh, tongue uh, sorry spittles on his on the eyes and then uh, he began to to some miracle gradually so that the person gets uh, his sight back. So what we can understand from today's gospel is that dear friends, so the truth of God, when we want to listen to the voice of God, the truth of God cannot be found easily, immediately and completely. It happens gradually and uh, in stages. Uh, a person does not go immediate, immediately. It takes years for him to grow. A person does not get the knowledge. It takes years to grow in knowledge. So similarly, to find God, to experience God, to be aware of God, to be in the consciousness of God, it takes years and years. Gradually, it happens, dear friends. But we need to, uh, we need to come to Jesus like this blind man. Uh, that was led to Jesus. Since he came to Jesus, he was able to receive his sight in stages in uh, uh, gradually. So in our lives too, when we, if we want to come to God and get healed of our blindness, because we are blind to see many things. When injustice are happening, then we are able to see that uh, uh, injustice uh, because we are not able to see. If someone is fighting, I am not able to go and save him because I am not able to see which side is wrong. Whether this person is wrong or that person is wrong, I am not able to see. Uh, God is there talking to me, I am not able to hear his voice because I am blind. So therefore, dear friends, let us pray to God that he may give us the spirit and wisdom, knowledge, understanding so that uh, we may... He may help us to remove our blindness and may see God and fight for justice and fight for his kingdom and bring the people to him. Thank you.